Where are we at right now? Boat ramp. Boat ramp? Boat ramp. This is boat ramp number two. Number two? We're going to boat ramp number one. Is there any, give me any crackheads to try to break in and steal my crap over here. We're good? I think the crackheads are back that way. We're too far <laughs> out in the middle of anywhere for they're, there to be crackheads anywhere. They're back in Arkansas somewhere? Probably. All right, sounds All right. good. Let's go. <laughs> Send it. I may or may not, no I didn't, I did not mention that in this video it's going to be a catch and cook. My boy here has convinced me to uh, keep some of these, these bass we're going to catch today and we're going to keep them, we're going to eat them. The reason for that is these are Alabama spotted bass and in the state of Tennessee the Alabama spotted bass is a invasive. We're gonna treat them though, just like their normal spots. Obviously, we're gonna keep them, you know, within regulation, all that kind of stuff, because sometimes it's hard to tell with, in this river, they're literally all Alabama spots. But we're gonna keep a few, we're gonna eat them today. Just to, I don't know, help, help, right? I mean, like, I feel like that's helping. <laughs> you don't want invasives. They're cool invasives. It's kind of like the snakehead, right? Like, nobody wants a snakehead there because it's an invasive, but it's also just a really cool fish to catch. Yeah. But I still, I mean, I just like eating stuff. It's gonna be, they're gonna be delicious. You know my, I mean, my philosophy <laughs> is I go to the zoo and I walk up to the cages and I'm like, I wonder if that tastes good. And so we're gonna find out if these things taste good or not yeah, today. It's gonna be good. Send it. Look, look at him, got him. <laughs> That's fun. Come here, bud. Oh yeah, you're a decent one. Heck yeah. I mean, just cummed up and kissed it. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. There you go, guys. That's a fun one. That's a pretty fish. Look how pretty he is. They start to change color the colder they get. They get darker and more just pronounced everything. Absolutely gorgeous. Awesome sauce. Hey, bud. Thank you, man, for a good time. There we go. Get up in here, bud. Another one. And another one. There we go. Heck yeah, little dude. Thank you, man. I'm going to let you go before I get put into this tree right here. He smashed it, son. He wanted it. I mean, wanted it. There we go. That's a good one. Dude, he's trying to take it out of his mouth. That's incredible. Get up in here. That is freaking awesome. Holy cow. <laughs> that is cool. That was fun. Is you a good eater size? You want him? Yeah, dude. All right, come down here and get him from me. Four. You missed four? Yeah, just like like a ten cast stretch. Dang, dude, I'm sorry. Just, just, uh, no, it's good. They just smoking it and missing it. Yeah, it just it was like moving quick. Yeah. There's a, there was this top. And it was a little bit deeper. Yeah. There was two. So they have one come up and they, they fall. Yeah. Huh. There we go. Yep. Old red-eyed demon. There you go. Little dude. Yeah. Working on a fish fry now. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Hey, good buddy. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah. Oh, spotted bastard. Eh? You want to taste? You want to taste good in the taco? There you go. There you go. Little fatty man. That fish is so fat. Look at the freaking belly on this thing. That gym. Well guys, it has turned off to be a lot tougher than I thought it was gonna be. You know, this first two bites this morning I really thought that was gonna be an indication for a really good buzz bait bite. You know, normally you get two bites like that, boom boom. Um, you end up having a pretty good day, you know, each one of these little rock faces holding two or three fish and then being able to pick up some fish in between on these laydowns and these logs in the water. But it's just not the way it has been today. It's been a little bit tough, but we do got five fish. Um, between Cole and I, we have put together a decent little limit and enough fish to have us a little fresh fish fry this afternoon. So I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be good. Um, I think it's, this is fun. You know, it's not often that I keep fish. Um, but it's something that I definitely uh, have no qualms about, you know, put them on a stringer or put them in the lava or bring them home with you and eat them because, uh, you know, you got a license that says you can keep five. And when it's helping to curve an invasive species like this, um, I think that it's pretty good. And I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, we're probably not going to hurt this invasive species by taking these five fish out of here. But... It is one of those things that if I'm going to keep some fish, I want it to be an abundant fish and or a fish that may uh, help to bring back those native populations of smallmouth and largemouth that used to live in these creeks that don't anymore. So we're going to keep fishing here for a few more minutes. We literally have one more bend um, in the river here, and then we're probably going to make our way back to the truck and then make our way back to the house and start filleting these fish up and putting us a little fish fry together. So that'll be fun. Uh, I can't wait to taste these spots and see what they taste like. You know, I'm sure they'll taste like every other bass, which bass honestly is not that bad. It's actually a pretty good fish, but anything's good when you dip it in uh, egg wash, cover it in cornmeal and a little bit of salt and pepper and fry it. So we're gonna go home and do that and see how these things taste. There we go. On the old spinner. Huh? That four? That's five. There you go. Dang gone, this fish ate it too. Lord have mercy, fish. This fish ate it. Dude, I have never in my life, in all my days. You've never torched a fish like that? I mean, dude, I've never, I've never blistered one like that before. There you go, bud. Thank you, sir. Well, there you go. There's your limit. All right, boys and girls, there they are. Ready to uh, be away. <laughs> my boy's got the uh, brand new filet knife. Yep, we stopped at the Walmarts. Got the cheapest one they had. Got the Ozark Trail Special. Hashtag sponsored. Not really. I wish I was. <laughs> Not really. I've used this one quite a bit. You know, it's awesome for 14 bucks. But like I was telling you, it's it's good in like like real moderation. Like you, if we were cleaning 20 of these bad boys, this thing gets so hot, it's like giving you blisters on the back of your hand. So yeah, we're not gonna do that. In a pinch, like today, it's perfect for this. But we are going to uh, fillet that right up. So mm. Mm. let's get after it. I 
didn't mean to cut through right there. Honestly, that is a beautiful flow of fish. It's cold. That is like beautiful. That's good as you get. I mean, it really is. That's beautiful. Mm. I can't wait to eat that. So this is a great reason to do a necropsy on a bass, which is just pretty much an animal autopsy, is that you guys can see what they've been eating. And obviously they've been eating- Multiple a lot, crawdads. A lot of crawdads. Yeah, like, there's his head. Yep. Got these big old claws. And what color we got? Like some kind of smoky, green pumpkin, smoky orange, green. yeah. Kind of blue. Mm-hmm. Mm. And a lot of people say, you know, I've had people like say, you know, oh, crawdads don't turn orange. Yeah, they do. I mean, like there is that methylate orange color. And when that is in the water, it's very bright. It pops. And so that's a green pumpkin orange. And that's what those fish are eating is a green pumpkin orange crawdad, which is cool. Especially I mean, since we caught it on a, on a, um, a white buzz bait. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Look at that. Necropsy number two. Darter. A little darter. Could be like a small, like log perch. Yep. It could be something else. I don't even know the old darters. Y'all have tons of darters. Yeah, oh, we have so many. It's ridiculous. We have, it's crazy. We have though. a bunch in Arkansas too, but it's just, it's hard to keep up. What else we got in there? A bunch of crawdads. Some crawdaddies, yeah. Crawdads and darters. That's Sounds about right, dude. Sounds like about a creek fish to me. Look, he's got, he's got, he's got several darters. You can just suck them up. Same yep. species though. And see, that's a great way to do a little uh, match the hatch right there. Absolutely. We got this guy kind of feels weird. We got to see what that is. Or is that... I don't think that's, that's not inside the stomach, is it? Maybe, I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, that's another one. Yep. Three of them, dude. Yep. Three. Dude, he was munching. That's crazy. <laughs> he got a little, he got a little too gluttonous, dude. <laughs> that's awesome. He was eating them things on the bottom. He said, ooh, a buns bait. Yeah. We're gonna keep it simple with the batter and the uh, seasoning and everything. Egg wash, cornmeal, salt and pepper. That's all I'm doing. Mm. So when my papa did it, it's the way I'm gonna do it. It's the best way to cook fish in my opinion. So it's simple. I think the simplicity of, of frying fish is what makes it so good. It's a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of cornmeal. I'm gonna fry it and uh, that's how we're gonna enjoy this bass this evening. So I'm excited about it. We're gonna start getting these fillets going, getting them cooked. Once everything's cooked, we're gonna take you over to the table and we're gonna do a taste test and we're gonna see what we think about this stuff. So we're gonna get after it. So we're gonna do a taste test here. Now I've had bass before in the past. I've had large mouth and small mouth that my papa caught and put in with a mess of crappie. But this will be my first time eating a spotted bass. And I have to say, I'm excited. I think first one here, we're just going straight in. No condiments, anything. I mean, it's beautiful. White, flaky, beautiful fish. So here goes first bite. That honestly is phenomenal. Like, that really is. It's clean, it's not fishy, it's flaky. I mean, it fried up perfectly. That is, that's probably one of the best pieces of fish I've ever put in my mouth, like no joke. Dang, Alex is, in, is now a catch and cook channel. I mean, <laughs> I would 10 out of 10 recommend that. Like that's delicious and good. I can see why people want to eat bass because they're good. Now, am I gonna do this all the time? Probably not, but I will say that if I get into a mess of 14 inch fish or 15 inch fish that uh, just strike me wrong, they're coming home with me and they're getting to eat. So yeah, this day was fun. This is awesome. Cole's got me branching out, got me doing catches cooks and all kinds of different stuff and I can't thank him enough for that because it is fun and I've enjoyed it. Go check out Cole's channel. He's an amazing human being. He's who's holding the camera right now. I mean that's how amazing of a human being that he is is he comes to my house and holds my camera so I can make my YouTube videos. I mean that is an epic human. So go down in the description, hit his link, subscribe to his channel. Him and his wife are making phenomenal content on YouTube. As always go down in the description as well. Check out all the gear that we use today and as always you guys are sweet 
and uh, we're gonna enjoy some some fish tonight. Cole, what do you think, buddy? I am just as pumped as you are to devour these here bass, and uh, I'm just ready to get get going. Let's get her done. <laughs> Thank you. 